Hey everyone, in this video we will investigate how to use signals with your angular forms and what is the best way to go about this. Now why would we want to do that? Well, you might want to update your field values in signals so that you can show derived state on the UI. For example, take this simple form which has a first and the last name. Now these are material input fields and we want to also show the full name right below it somewhere here. We want to store these field values in signals and then we can create a computer to return the full name using these signals. Now this is a very simple example but you can imagine more complex form with more complex derived state which you want to show on the UI. Now first if you don't want to use any validations in these uh, uh, fields or you don't want to use any other forms API features we can simply use the value property of the inputs here. So here are my input field what we can do is that we can directly put in the value property here and of course first we also need to create the signals so let's create signals to hold these values first name would be a signal let's give it an empty value last name would be a signal let's give it an empty value as well and then in this value field what we are going to do is we are just going to bind the first name's value here and in this value we are going to bind the last name's value. Remember you have to unpack the value of the signal using the parenthesis. Okay now how do you update the value? So for updating the value you can use the input event handler and here you can do first name dot set. How do you get this value? Well you can give an identifier here and you, then you can get first name field dot value. Okay the same thing you can do here and you can add it to you can make this last name have last name field here you can add it here all right so this should work and to uh, really test how this works we can add a full name computed here so computed is state which is derived from a signal so we are going to just derive the state from the first name this dot first name space this dot or rather this dot last name and then let's add this to our ui as well here so we can say full name and we can use the full name signal here so let's test this out now when we test this we can see when we write zweb and when we write khan here we have the full name and when we remove it we can see that our signal the our computer is updated here using the power of uh, the built-in reactivity that signals provides now this will work but this has a problem you can see that uh, you will have to add validations here yourself and you can't use any of the forms api features so for example if you want to add a validation to the first name or the last name and show the errors here we can't really do that here unless we do it manually so this is not very nice now enter template driven forms to handle this so for template driven forms we are going to first load the forms module which i already have here and then we also need to use the ng model directive so instead of this value we can now use ng model similarly here we can model and for the input we can do ng model and here instead of this value we can basically just use the event parameter so we can now remove this it's anymore we can do ng model change this is gonna go event as well and now let's test this out so you can see here i get the same values very nice and you can you see now that we get a red mark here as well when we leave this empty now why is that because we can add validations as well now so now for the input field if we add the required validation here we can also add the mat error message here let's say that we say that this field is required and in ng if we need a reference to our ng model here so what we're going to do is we are going to say first name control and we're going to export it as model then we're just going to add a check here first name control dot has error and we can say that we need the required similarly we're going to copy this to our last name control we're going to add this and export it as ng model and this should work or rather we also need to add a required attribute here okay and now when we see when we touch and then we go out of it or blur the field this field is required appears in the errors and then we write when we write our name and everything else it works the same way as before okay so now let's also test out whether we can um, set our values for example when we update the, the signal from outside like for example through an api call or something does the value get updated in your field here so let's say we give an initial value of zweb here and let's see whether it shows up and yes you can see the value shows up and and all this the computer is also updated here so this is basically two-way data binding now we expect the angular team would bring out something in due time to actually add two-way data binding that it already provides for simple variables but it doesn't have it for um, signals as yet but we do expect the angular team to bring that out sooner rather than later but that's a topic for another video so now you can see you can avail all the benefits of the template driven forms apis along with the signals and the reactivity that they bring to angular great now one last point is about reactive forms so you might be a big fan of reactive forms and for the right reasons they are nice but they're not a really good fit for signals. The reason is that they already have reactivity built into them using RxJSON observables. So using them with signals means you'll need to have two copies of the data. So for example, you have this one copy of data with signals, and then you will also need to have the form controls 
to be declared here. So you'll have to have two copies of data for each field and then you need to interoperate between them. So it's just an added layer of complexity that you probably don't need. So try to avoid reactive forms with signals unless you really need them. That's it for now. I hope you found this short video useful. Thanks for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already.